Mondays are for MetroCard English. Hello students, my name is Teacher Dora. I am the ESL teacher and founder to my own company, Applied ESL. Applied ESL is an online English tutoring service with a creative approach where I help adult learners build their confidence while practicing and improving their English speaking skills. Welcome to MetroCard English. Learn English as you travel. A metro card is something that we use to take the New York City subways, such as trains and buses. On each metro card, you will see a message on the back, such as this one. Here is today's lesson. Welcome to lesson 20. This is the last lesson for metro card English learn English as you travel. And I want to do a little history or a little behind the scenes of this thing called the Metro card. So what is a Metro card? It's something we use to pay for us to take the bus and the train. I love our transit system here in New York City. <laughs> On a personal note, I was born and raised here in New York City, and I remember when the Metro card first started. Before the Metro card was yellow, it was blue. But I think it's important to talk about how all of this got started. So let's go down memory lane. This blue Metro card is the first Metro card that was introduced in 1993. Before this Metro card, we used to use something called tokens. Tokens was our way to pay to get on the bus and train. However, as times were changing, the MTA, which stands for Metropolitan Transit Authority, wanted to upgrade their system and their payment system. And the Metro card was born. By June of 1993, the MTA distributed 3,000 Metro cards just to test it out to make sure it was worth the investment. By 1994, the turnstiles in several train stations changed from the tokens to the Metro card. By 1997, the entire bus and subway system accepted the Metro card. I love taking the bus and the train here in New York City, and I even love to collect them as a hobby. The tokens were phased out of the system between 1993 and 1994. Why did MTA make this change? Well, they wanted to make it more convenient for customers. Instead of carrying a pocket full of tokens, or you had to spend a certain amount for a pack of tokens, it was easier to just pay for a Metro card to swipe and go. But in order for this to be successful, they needed to change their payment system. And they also at this time created the Metro card vending machines. So instead of going to the token booth clerk to pay for a Metro card, which you can still do today, it was easier and convenient to buy a Metro card from a vending machine. Metro cards have seen their share of changes from colors to advertisements and the most important thing, money. So as the Metro card became more and more popular, the MTA had to make some adjustments when it came to their payments. So we went from paying $1.50 to take the bus and train 
to the current price today of $2.75. As you can see here, the Metro car has underwent a lot of changes. Over time, the MTA decided to create advertisement from the back of the Metro car to the front. This made it aesthetically pleasing to the eye, and it also made it interesting for riders. However, Metro cars are also known for their subway instructions, how to ride the subway, the do's and don'ts, and this is where Teacher Dara comes in. This is the reason why I started MetroCon English, learn English as you go, because I feel it's very important for people to understand the written instructions that are on the back of the MetroCon. And since I live in a city with, where people come from all over the world to visit our city or who live here, it's also good in practicing your English. So that's where MetroCon English was born. Welcome to MetroCard English. Learn English as you travel. Instructions helped us to know how to take the bus and the train, but it's also a great way to learn new expressions and vocabulary. I teach adult learners, and one of the questions a lot of my students would ask me is, Teacher Dara, I don't understand what is on the back of this MetroCard. And I would ask them, do you ever read the back of the MetroCard? And they would simply say, no. And I will tell you that even as a New Yorker and a native speaker myself, that even a lot of us don't read the back of these Metro cards. But the instructions on the back of these Metro cards are very important because it tells us how to travel and what to be aware of while we are traveling. But it's also a great opportunity for us ESL teachers to help our students learn new vocabulary words and expressions such as this one, living on the edge. It is important that when people take our transit system that they are aware of their surroundings, they know what to do, as well as understand the instructions, how to buy a Metro card, what the Metro card is used for, what is valid, what does transfer mean, what is select bus service. These are things as New Yorkers we may take for granted, but for people visiting our city, whether they are ESO students or not, it is important that they understand these instructions. That was the inspiration why I decided to do MetroCard English, learn English as you travel, because many times people simply didn't know what these instructions meant. So that's why I'm here today. So why are MetroCards helpful for ESL adults or just ESL students in general? Well, they not only provide good information, but it helps them to practice their English in real life. Oftentimes, students will learn English in a classroom, which is great, but here's the problem. When they leave the classroom, they are on their own. And if you know anything about New York City, we are a busy, busy city. And we don't have the time to stop and translate or to help people understand what, where they're trying to go, the directions, etc. So it's very, very helpful that our students really understand how to read the instructions on the back of these Metro cars, to know the different services that the MTA provides us, our SBS service, our bus time, easy pay, because who wants to stand on a long line and wait to pay for a Metro card? Who wants to stand outside in the cold winter season waiting for a bus that may or may not come. So it's very, very useful to understand these instructions. You want to be careful. Taking the subway is great, but it poses a lot of risk. And there are a lot of people who do not follow the rules. So you want to be aware of what the rules are, how to stay safe, and to pay attention to your surroundings. So that way your trip on the bus and train can be a safe and comfortable one than a bad one. So be careful. Thank you so much for watching this Metro Car English series. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you've learned more about our New York City transit system, Metro cars, and the instructions that it provides to us. As I tell all of my students, 
always try your best because when you try your best, you simply do your best. Stay safe and thank you again for your support. cards i don't know what to do with them good news don't want that expired metro card no problem please donate your expired old metro cards to the address down below and you may see your metro card in an upcoming lesson in metro card english thank you so much for your support